Here we have the Plod Note, the ChatGPT AI voice recorder. And inside this video, we're gonna go ahead and unbox this, set it up, test it out, and by the end of the video, you're gonna know whether or not it's worth buying. Let's go ahead and start with the unboxing, and it does look like it includes a MagSafe case, which is always nice to have, especially if your phone can support those magnetic accessories. We'll go ahead and tear off all of this plastic here, and when we open it up, we're gonna be greeted, of course, with a user manual. But this is what we truly care about, the Plod Note. Let's go ahead ahead and undo this plastic and look at how thin this little device is. That is crazy thin, probably just slightly larger than a credit card. Looks like we have a power button, a record button, and a charging port on the back. Now I was sent the Plod Note to test and review inside this video, but you're only gonna get my honest opinion after we actually test it out. And if we open this up, we have our MagSafe case, and even an included sticky mag ring for phones that don't support magnetic features. This magnetic case is honestly really nice. It's only slightly thicker than the Plod Note, just thick enough to hold it inside that compartment. And it looks like we do have a cutout, so you can charge the Plod without actually taking it out of the case. And then inside this compartment, we have our charging cord. It is gonna be a magnetic adapter that just simply clicks into place on the back of the Plod, and it looks like we also have a USB-C adapter, which is perfect because most of my cords and adapters are USB-C anyways, so I love that they included that. And this is everything everything included. So now let's go ahead and start testing out the features of this AI voice recorder. Let's see how well this case attaches to my iPhone 14. It looks like these are some pretty strong magnets because I'm shaking and I cannot get this Plod Note to fall off the phone. So that is a huge plus in my opinion. It looks like we have to go through a setup process to connect the Plod to my phone. So I'll go ahead and turn on that button there. And then it wants me to short press the recording button and it starts to flash. So let's connect it. That was easy. It was simply just a push of a button and it automatically connected to the phone. It looks like we have four different tutorial notes, a welcome note, a summarize note, a transcribe note, and a historic flashback. So we could take a look at these different notes. We could see the summaries, the transcripts, and the mind map of each one of these notes. And eventually this is what our notes are going to look like once we start using the Plod to record. So just to test it out, let's go ahead and click on the record button and it automatically starts recording. So you'll notice that it is picking up the audio waves from my voice. So let's go ahead and pause this, play it back and see how it sounds. We'll just click on save and it added a new note here at the top. So let's go ahead and play this back. Go ahead and click on the record button and it automatically starts recording. So you'll notice that it is picking up the audio waves from my voice. So let's go ahead and pause this play it back and see how it sounds. First impressions, the audio isn't gonna be the most crisp audio because that's really not the purpose of the Plod Note. The purpose is to generate these AI transcripts, summaries, and mind maps. You can sign up for a free trial of Pro and it will record different speaker labels, but for now what we're gonna do is just create the transcript. So it's gonna go through a transcribing process and then it should put out everything that was said word for word. And because it wasn't a very long session, all it says here is let's go ahead and pause this, play it back and see how it sounds, which is exactly what I said in my recording. If I click on summary, I'm sure it's going to say that it's too short to create anything. And that is exactly what happened. And I'm sure we're going to get the same thing from the mind map. So now let's try a slightly longer note. And in this note, I'm just going to be reading out the Declaration of Independence, capturing it with the Plod note to see if it will create some kind of summary and a transcription along with a mind map. We'll start recording and I'm gonna speak out the Declaration of Independence. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, I recorded about a minute and 20 seconds of the Declaration of Independence, so I'll click on save and I will let it transcribe. And we can take a look at the different summary templates and we can click on whichever one best summarizes the Declaration of Independence. So we'll click on the lecture template here and I'll say use this template. And then we will initiate generation. In about 15 seconds, it transcribed that entire speech and we probably have about two to 300 words here. So let's click on the summary. And yes, it did create a summary for this. You'll notice that it did recognize that it was the Declaration of Independence and it called it principles and rights. It gave the theme of the Declaration of Independence and it had the takeaways that all men are created equal, that governments derive powers from the consent of the governed, 
and then it highlighted things and even created chapters and topics. So all we have right now is chapter one, but this is still really cool because we have all this information organized in a easy to understand summary. If we click on the mind map, it's gonna be basically the same thing as the summary. It's going to have the title, the Declaration of Independence. It has the theme. It also has the takeaways, the highlights, and the chapters. So if we continued on this note, it would create multiple different chapters depending on whatever the topics were. After you're done checking out the transcript and the summary, you can click on these three little dots here and you can edit the file name. You could move it to a folder. You could retranscribe if you didn't think that it did a good job as well as resummarize or you could trash that note altogether. I love that the app allows you to create different folders to categorize all of your notes and calls. We also have this me section down here where you could take a look at the pro plan for the AI membership and you could pay $80 for a pro annual plan or $12.99 a month, or you could just purchase different transcription minutes for set prices. But I do love that you get 1200 minutes for free inside of a free trial once you start using the plod. And at any time, of course you can export the audio, the transcript, the summary, you could copy, paste it. So an example, if you are in class and you are taking notes on a lecture, you could export that transcript and use it to help you in your homework, especially if your professor or your teacher gave away some of the answers within that lecture. Now that we have fully tested out the Plod Note, here are my honest thoughts. First off, this device is thin, compact, and it secures to any phone, no problem. So I don't have any issues as far as the form factor goes. And as far as performance goes, I only have a couple of concerns. One of those is that it did label the speech as a call. And the other one is that the playback audio doesn't sound the best. And I get it, it is a small, thin device, so you can't put an amazing microphone on top of this. However, it does get the job done. And as far as transcribing and summary goes, this is excellent. I was blown away of how it created a summary out of the Declaration of Independence. It used ChatGPT to understand the title and it broke it down into summaries, headlines, and even chapters if I was to continue to speak into the microphone. So I would definitely recommend this if you are a student, if you want to record lectures, Zoom calls, or even phone calls, this is gonna handle all of that, no problem, and it's gonna do an exceptional job at creating a transcript that's accurate and a summary that really does lay out everything in an organized fashion. In my opinion, the Plod Note is absolutely worth it. Thank you so much for watching this video review and I hope that it helps. If you're into more content like this, my name's David and I do product reviews, product comparisons, and top five best videos. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for when I release my next review.